Nobody freaks out, okay? What's happening? Nobody freaks out. Bro, it doesn't even rev anymore. It's done. This was the issue. I'm gonna gift this to a really dear friend of mine. Welcome to episode 10 of Brand New Used Car. This is a series that has gone way too far because where we are on a mission to fix my lemon of a BMW 328. We got this car around eight months ago and ever since then we've been dealing with issues and trying to get it to a perfect condition. So I was having some issues where, you know the, the fart sound that these cars make when you shift? which everybody loves. I was getting that fart when I was revving. So not only when I was shifting, but when I was revving. So I had this issue yesterday, so I took it easy on the car so I could bring the car here today. Shout out to Z Auto Service for always being available to fix my lemon of a car. Let's go ahead and jump into 10 minutes ago where everything started out. It's amazing. I have no issues with the car. It's just car having issues with itself. Zero misfires. You want to go for a drive? All of this will be done in a closed circuit. I love how he just pulled the seatbelt as, as soon as I said Sport Plus. Last night I was at the airport and the car started like an old car. It was like, <laughs> I didn't know like you can press any car with a push start and the car would start like that. But yesterday it was a lot, it was like brum, brum, brum. You know? Yeah. Okay. Bring the one. Now I can't even drive anymore. Yeah. I think it's a coil problem. Coil? Bro, it doesn't even rev anymore. Yeah. It's done. The good thing this happened when he was here and when you were holding the camera. Yeah. Coil? Yeah. Okay. We should really start a series where I buy a beat up car. We see which one breaks, breaks down faster. Like comment down below if you want to watch that happen. We are doing road trips and all. Like which one breaks faster, this or like a 35 year old car? Probably this. I, I, I also vote probably this. I knew something was wrong with the car, but there was small indications. Me being a smart ass that I am, took it really slow on the car and I was really lucky. I had him and him when the actual went wrong. So we can actually document it for YouTube. No, but seriously, coils, I knew I had a problem with my coils. When we changed my spark plugs, like five or 10 episodes back, we already knew my coils are gone. Got a misfire on cylinder one. The plug lo looks toast. I thought it would be the injectors though. This was the issue. I'm gonna gift this to a really dear friend of mine. <laughs> Cut the camera, bro. <laughs> All right, it's another day. We are back at Z Auto to get this finally fixed. Brand new coils. This is the new one and this is old one. See, this whole workshop is a non-profit. <laughs> Just to help out all the struggling BMW drivers <laughs> who have bought these cars thinking they're cool. So nobody freaks out, okay? What's happening? Nobody freaks out. We didn't have drivetrain this time. So there's this fat ass screw in my tire. I don't know if you can see it from here. All right, so we gotta run. The, the screw is out, the tire is deflating. Really don't wanna call a tow truck today, but oh my God, like the only time that this car is in perfect condition and there's nothing wrong with it. I gotta get a flat tire. One screw on the road had to find my tire, shove itself down my tire. Oh my God, man. Wow, that's so much air, wow. So it's literally at zero PSI, which is amazing. You can literally hear the tire. It's coming from here? No, it's coming from the tire. Wow. Let's go back before you get flat. Oh, this is gonna get flat.
We open the engine, we overhaul the engine, we change everything, right? Everything. We change the piston, we change the fuel pump, we change like everything brand new and put it back so that the mileage is like zero.